alternative conceptions of development. In this module, we learn about the alternative model of development that checks the imbalances caused by growth-centric development. Why alternative conception of development? The Industrial Revolution began in Britain in the late 18th century. Over the years, the implications of industrialization began to be felt across the world. Look at these skyscrapers, flyovers and large dams. This is the pomp and show of industrialization or the growth-centric model of development. But is this the whole story of development? Unfortunately, this picture has a dark side. Mindless industrialization and growth kept widening the gap between the rich and the poor. Increased poverty and hunger led to global warming, climate change and natural disasters and displaced people from their homes. Mankind has arrived at the brink of destruction. Let's find out what has gone wrong. The development model followed by most countries, including India, is a top-down approach. It means that development policies are made at the central or state government levels and are implemented at the ground level. In this process, people at the grassroot level are not consulted. In addition, this model is usually driven by technology, involves high cost and is ecologically wasteful. In recent years, we have realized that the top-down approach has not given the expected results. Instead, decisions should be made at the grassroot level. This process of decentralization of power is known as the bottom-up approach. Participatory democracy is an important feature of the people-centric model of development. Its main task is to negotiate and accommodate competing demands. Here, competing demands refer to contradictory demands from different social groups such as in case of consumers and producers. In a broader sense, participatory democracy not only addresses the demands of the present times, but it also considers the needs and demands of the future generations. Therefore, this model is more equitable, sustainable and democratic. Indian society is diverse and so are its aspirations. There are times when these diverse groups come into conflict. The democratic spirit calls for resolving such issues through debate. It also requires different social groups to respect each other's rights. Global warming, a major threat of modern times, is an outcome of the growth-centric model of development. Based on industrialization, this model relies heavily on energy produced by fossil fuels. To acquire fossil fuel, we cut forests haphazardly. The outcome of wide-scale deforestation is natural disasters like landslides and floods. To reverse this process, we need to adopt a lifestyle that is based on renewable sources of energy such as solar and wind energy. Measures like shifting to public transport, using CFL bulbs, rainwater harvesting, encouraging micro hydro projects and generating manure from organic waste yield huge positive consequences. The people-centric model of development serves as a good alternative to the prevailing growth-oriented approach. It is a way to ensure sustainable and equitable development. The arguments in favor of the people-centric model of development can be summarized as shown here. Let's recall. Growth-centric model of development has led to disparities and problems. People-centric model uses a bottom-up approach in decision-making. 
involves people at the grassroots in policy decisions, treats people as active participants in development process, negotiates and accommodates competing demands, considers the needs and demands of future generations, equitable, sustainable and democratic model.